the queen was like a dog, sniffing the scent of another woman in her husband's bed. And her husband called her a madwoman. Unable to suppress her anger any longer, she stood in the rain and shouted at her husband for his infidelity. As her mother passed away, Juana couldn't understand why all this pain was being inflicted on her. She wished it was all a lie, a fantasy. People looked at her and said she was crazy. So she continued to be crazy. Juana called the palace maids and sniffed them one by one. Anyone she suspected of fornicating with her husband had her hair cut off. Philippe wanted to talk to her. Instead, she began, I hate everything that separates us, including the heir. I'm a queen now. I could make my husband king of Spain. But Juana only wants to be his wife and wants him to be faithful to her forever. Philippe compromised for the sake of his rights. Together, they returned to Spain and Juana was sworn to the throne. The people welcomed the young monarch with open arms. But a rumor spread that Juana had inherited her grandmother's madness and was getting worse. The rumor was spread by her father, 